Hi, good morning everyone. It's your boy Leonard here, signing in, aka Leroy, aka your gains with Baines. Um, anyway, yeah, we finally we finally made it guys. Um, it is peak week this week. So my first state show for bodybuilding, the WFF here in Melbourne, Victoria. Um, yeah, it's it's been intense, as we all know, from our weekly updates, everything, you know, like, it's been crazy. We finally made it, you know, I've done 15 weeks with Taban now, and um, I just want to give them a massive shout out, a thank you for everything. I mean, I know it's been crazy. I've been up and down like a bloody roller coaster, emotional roller coaster, as expected as it is when it comes to prep. But, um, yeah, like, I just appreciate you all. Number one shout out to God, my mom, and, yeah, to Taban. Like, you guys, everybody, like, have played an, an amazing role in my life and brought me to where I am today. Cannot thank you all enough. Um, and um, just so thankful for this opportunity to um, grace the stage once again. I knew it was a long time coming and um it would take some time for me to get back up on there because you know when it comes to contest prep guys it's not all the glitz and the glamour you know you you see the instant success when people take their photos and upload it on instagram and social media but you never really do see the process that's involved i've done what i can to best document my progress and my pro the process obviously i haven't shown you everything in regards to like training and whatnot and that's just because it's hard to carry I don't have someone carrying the camera for me to be able to film all the time and um, guys like you know you've seen me train before but anyway it's these updates these vlogs these little diary entries that I do weekly like I think that's one best way to describe where I'm at in regards to how I feel and in that point of time and um, yeah I mean peak week baby like it's monday right now 7th of october shows on the 13th of october so we're basically six days out now so it's coming guys it's coming and um you know just i'm looking very much forward to it i want to see how my body um my body's gonna turn out because right now we're like pff, really depleted and we gotta stick to it stick to the guns until midway this week and then we'll see what happens then. I want to see what the what my coach has planned. Because um, this is a learning experience for myself as well. Like, I've done this before. But um, I feel like working with somebody that's been in the industry um, for 31 years. Um, I think it's, it's, it's amazing. And um, I'm really looking forward to um, seeing how the process goes. And... What I can take away from this, and you know, this is just the first, the first show, because we still got the nationals two weeks afterwards, and we're still debating whether or not I'm going to be able to go to the worlds because we need to be able to make sure that we've got enough people on the team to fly out to Mexico to make this world stage. At the moment, I know I'm 100% in, but it's just not going to work if it's one athlete, and you know. It's just too much. It's not as much as worthwhile it is. It is for me myself. It isn't um, for the coach, you know. And I got to take that. I got, I got to be accepting of that, and I take that into full account. That I understand that, you know, um, for them to take time out of their business and their lives, and you know, just for me to go up there on stage, you know, we got to look at um, making it worthwhile for the coach. So I'm hoping that. We can rustle up a few more members of the team to come with so we'll see how we all go this week at the state show and this is basically where we'll make our everybody will make their decision whether or not they want to go but i know for a fact that whatever happens i'm in and if it doesn't end up happening then that's okay with me as well i'm gonna have to accept that and um just continue to do my best and um really kick ass in states and nationals and um, we'll see what happens next and then soon after we've got to finish off my barbering course for the year I'm gonna have to return next year because I've fallen behind and that's okay that's perfectly all right like that hap that was expected to happen 
and the teachers are more than aware that my current situation in regards to the bodybuilding, the prep, the calorie restriction on my diet and how it makes me feel and you know it is what it is and um, yeah so apart from all of that um, and then we got the Philippines I'm still raising money towards that I'm gonna leave a link in the description because I'd really appreciate it if people were to able were able to donate and give whatever they can um, to the GoFundMe page that I've set up um, costs like the money raised is going towards the charity organization because um, we every every person that has signed up basically put in um, a, a certain amount that they've raised and then we pay for our own flights they cover accommodation because they've got um, they've got that all set up already and then we basically just pay our own way when we're there so flights food and um, yeah it's whatever's raised from the GoFundMe goes towards the charity and then whatever I can't make up from the, ch the GoFundMe I'll have to pay out of my own pocket and I'm perfectly fine with doing that because I'm giving back to my people the Filipinos or the Philippines who need it so much more than I do and um, it's an amazing opportunity like I've dreamt about going back and really making a difference and um, this is it so yeah it's been one one hardcore journey and um, yeah it's been amazing but um, anyway it's time to get my cardio game on we just finished training but that doesn't mean that the grind don't stop so to really hit the ham the nail on that to really hit the nail with the hammer it's time to do some cardio so I'm gonna leave it at that thanks for watching and tuning in guys hopefully the next video you see will either be one more vlog entry leading up to the comp the process and whatnot otherwise I'm gonna leave it at that and you're gonna see me up on stage baby so better get onto it better get the start day started because we ain't got all the time in the world all right see you guys hey guys how's it going it's your boy Leonard Baines here um, we are three days out from the contest WFF here in Melbourne Victoria um, if I have to be completely honest with all of you I'm feeling absolute shit house I'm being honest here um, you know yeah like as much as I am excited and really um, you know keen to show off what I've been working so hard for I just gotta let you guys know like to be completely honest with you like this um, challenge in itself is extremely hardcore and difficult but I'm doing what I can to um, make it through and I've got all the support that I could ever want and need and ask for um, to get me there so these are some of the goodies I've picked up because um, we are changing things up with the diet for the next two days as we're doing a carb depletion um, so we've got chicken we've got asparagus broccoli spinach spinach <laughs> we've got the lettuce uh, I've picked up some sleep easy um, nature's own vitamins just to help me get to bed um, cause, you know, and dealing with like with some anxiety from time to time so I need to kind of relax and um, be able to drift off um, get myself to bed on time and then I've got a new mug because I figured why not it's two dollars and looked pretty cool so you know nice new red mug um, then we've got some eggs I've got some decaf coffee because I wanna I love coffee but I've been drinking too much caffeinated ones so I wanna back off a bit and uh, we also a little a little goodie for myself because I am starting to like the um, the thank you um, brand. This is um, their body wash, so thank you. And um, I, th I got a diary as well, so um, I think it's good that in regards to every aspect of your life, whatever it is that you're doing, goals wise and whatnot, it's good to have a diary, just somewhere to write your thoughts down, have a think about things, and you know just before computers and technology came about like that's all we you know we did we we wrote and like it's just it's like it's be, becoming more of a forgetful art like craft writing um so yeah figured i'd get a diary just write some notes about how my what my favorite part of the day was and what i'm thankful for and you know whatnot and it's just good to have something to look back at i guess um later down the track so anyway we finished up with cardio. I'm gonna start prepping 
some breakfast because I haven't had anything to eat yet and it's 12.42. I'm prolonging my fast just because calories are limited, like meals is like small and it's not, I'm not hungry or anything. It's just, um, I want to be able to take my time and not rush it. So sweet. We'll leave it at that. And, um, yeah, I'll be checking in as often as I can prior to the show. So until then, I'll see you in a little while. She's got some nice long hair and you notice she's a bad chick. All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit. Clothes that she...